Bringing Christ to the Nations and the Nations to the Church. Daily Devotions from Lutheran Hour Ministries. Not to Condemn by Dr. Carrie Vo for Thursday, May 27, 2021. The text is John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Jesus said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through Him. During my life, Carrie says, I've worked both as a teacher and as a tutor. Do you know the difference? The obvious one is that teachers usually work with large classes, while tutors work one-on-one. But I've found that there was an emotional difference as well. When I was a teacher, my students were nervous and uncomfortable around me, and I had to work really hard to change that. They automatically thought of me as an adversary, as someone who was looking for reasons to lower their grade. But when I was a tutor, right from the beginning, my students knew that I was on their side. I wasn't handing out grades. If I pointed out an error, they knew that I was doing it so that they would succeed in school. And that meant that our relationship was better, right from the start. Now, of course, this isn't fair to teachers who love their students and have their best interests at heart. But students don't always think that deeply, do they? And so, they do their teachers an injustice. They assume that their goal is to condemn. And that messes up the relationship. As human beings, we do something really similar with God. We know that He is our Maker that he knows us through and through, and that someday he will be our judge. And we know that we are sinners, that we do not live up to God's perfection, that if he decided to hand out grades on our lives, we'd fail. No small wonder that we approach God as though he were our adversary. We know that we deserve to be condemned, and we automatically assume that that's what God wants to do. Against this, Jesus cries out from his heart, God so loved the world. God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. I think it must break God's heart to watch the way we tiptoe around him sometimes, reading the worry in our eyes and the fear in our hearts. That is not what God wants for us. He wants us to live, to be saved, to have everlasting, joyful, good life with Him forever, full of love and blessing. He wants that so much that He came into our world to be our Savior. Jesus, the Son of God, who suffered and died for your sake and for mine. He took away that condemnation that lay against us. And now that He is risen from the dead, You can be absolutely sure, I can be sure, that all of us who trust in Him can approach God with thankful love and with confidence. He's told us so, right there in Romans chapter 8, verses 1 and 2. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus. Would you pray with me? Father, thank you that you want the best for me and not to condemn me. In Jesus' name, amen.